Again, part of it has to do with, again, with the argument that Jesus is a male figure. Uh, in the Old Testament, uh, the God of the Old Testament, there are no goddesses. There is a, uh, Yahweh is a male God. Uh, the apostles were male. But then that also is, it, it picks up on um, that there are historic, that there are these differences between men are naturally transcendent, is the way the word, and women tend to be more imminent. Uh, I, I think that the New Testament argument is more helpful. I mean, the, the question is, why is it that the God of the Old Testament is a male God? Um, it's a really helpful the woman I draw on, a Jewish woman named Tikva Reimer Kinsky, has a helpful book called uh, uh, Dealing with Goddesses in Ancient Culture, and the title slips me my mind. But uh, one of the things that she points out in that book is that first, uh, the God of the Old Testament is not a male God in the sense of uh, sexually male. For example, God is never described below the waist. He doesn't have a consort or a bride. Um, he's male in the sense of there's one God for Israel. So it is monotheism that makes Israel distinct. One of the really interesting things that happens in Israel is that because there is no goddess, that the nation of Israel takes the place of the goddesses in pagan religion. So uh, Israel becomes the bride. Uh, and this actually elevates women and it elevates uh, human beings. Uh, and the same thing takes place in the New Testament. The church is the bride of Christ. So, yeah, I, I do think it's important to, to recognize that the God of the Old Testament is not sexually a male God. That's a, that's a misunderstanding. There are reasons why, and I, I talk about these in, in my book about why why did Jesus choose 12 apostles um, who were male? And that basically has to do with the topology of the Old, the Old Testament, that uh, Israel was indeed a patriarchal culture. Uh, Israel traces its heritage back to the 12 uh, male sons of Jacob. There are 12 tribes because there are 12 sons. There are 12 apostles who represent the, the church as the new Israel. Uh, if there had been 13 apostles, it would not have worked. Uh, if there had been, uh, if Jesus had called women apostles, again, it would not have fulfilled the, uh, the symbolism. But Jesus did call women to be his disciples, uh, who, except for the 12, seemed to be doing everything that, that his male followers were doing. That, that's sort of... Hey, thank you so much for checking out this video clip from the Dogato Podcast. To get more videos like this, simply subscribe here on YouTube. You can also download the full episode of each show on iTunes, Spotify, Google Play, or your favorite podcast player. Take care.